and it feels third world to me. So have you seen anything like this in the UK? No, but I've been to like India for work and in the worst slums of India, you do not see anything like that at all. San Francisco is basically a tale of two cities. San Francisco, the tourist city, and San Francisco, the drug haven. Ooh. Check out the dude to the left of your screen, the one with the saggy pants attempting to speed walk. He's walking like a man on a mission. And in fact, he is on a mission. But I'll come back to him shortly. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The action, the harm reduction, nonprofits are handing out free drug paraphernalia, basically sending a signal yeah, that it's all right from? to do drugs. Yeah. How long have you been fitting off? Fentanyl, a uh, long time. I got I got used to get boiled in fentanyl so that people would not kill innocent people, it said. So, so where did you come from? I know, you, are you from the Bay? I'm originally from San Francisco, yes. All right, how'd you get caught up in this? Um, fentanyl, you know, me and my friend Keisha, we've just been smoking it. Some good right. shit. You gonna get some help one day? <laughs> help, no, I'm good. It's just a medication, it's just the an It's medication? Yeah, it's just the medicine. So the drug dealers? are making a profit hand over fist. And since the district attorney's office isn't aggressively prosecuting the sellers, it creates a constant circle of human lives on spin cycle that never stops. You need an ambulance? Sure. The reaction, people are selling whatever they can get their hands on, in many instances, to feed the beast known as drug addiction. Here, San Francisco police find a unassembled barbell stand believed to have been stolen. Since no one on the street will claim stolen merchandise, it gets confiscated. This guy is selling free and clear all-brand detergent, which usually sells for close to $9 each. He's selling it two for $10. Or this man who wants to find a worker he hired to give him back his tools. So we go through a whole days of work, but then he's in my car and he shoots up and I get scared, man. And the first chance he got out, I just drove off, man. But his yeah. stuff is still in my car. There are so many issues in the Tenderloin District of San Francisco, it makes you wonder why some people just don't throw their hands in the air out of sheer frustration and give up. There's no shortage of issues, and I, I'll, I'll back up a little bit to talk about my own personal experience. I, I started my career here uh, as a training officer. Um, I've, I've actually lived in the district. I live close by. I could walk to work. Um, my, my father was a footbeat officer here uh, in, the, in the early 80s and uh, I have uh, a deep emotional connection with this community and, and with this neighborhood. According to Captain Canning, there is a long list of officers that want to work here, despite knowing what they're up against. And they're up against a lot. I took some time to tag along with three footbeat officers from the Tenderloin District. They come across some pretty interesting things. For instance, this is nicknamed the fentanyl lean. It's a trance-like state of being drowsy and wide awake at the same time, something that can last for hours. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Machete, man. Still a then a man walked by with a machete, and that to me is some scary stuff. Here's something else. These unattended bags don't appear to belong to anyone. However, watch the guy in the blue. Is it the yours? Is it yours? It's not abandoned. Oh, it's not abandoned. Oh. Fresh property, bro. Oh, it's it's yours? It's mine. No, mine. It's mine, bro. Right, mine, bro. Yeah, it's sorry. Mine, bro. My bad. Mine. Bad. First he says they're not his bags, then he claims their property. Hey, you that guy on TV, huh? Yeah. Channel 5 or something like that? Channel 4, one of them? A second ago, they asked you whether it yours, and you said yes. And then, now that it's yours, now you take your rent. You, you an your investigator? Story. You an investigator, too? I'm going to ask a question. I got to ask a question. Good, bro. Have a good day, sir. You have a blessed day, baby. All right. And I hope you and your family okay, all right? That last part is called a veiled threat against my family. When I told people I was coming to San Francisco, they asked me, where was I staying, in the Rich Carlton? I said, no, I'm staying in the Tenderloin. What I get from people, my God, why are you staying in the Tenderloin? You better watch out for bed bugs. Well, I actually stayed at the Phoenix Hotel, which is right smack in the middle of chaos. A lot of guests are just always uh, amazed uh, when they walk through our doors because we work pretty hard to, uh, to provide this oasis. It's funny you mentioned the word oasis because the first thing I said to you was, this is like an oasis sure. surrounded by pandemonium. <laughs> I would agree. I would agree. So literally the tale of three cities, not two. Which brings me back to the man speed walking. He was trying to act natural so the cops wouldn't realize he was heading over to let the members of the backpack brigade know that the police were en route. Officers were heading over there to disrupt the drug sales and make sure no one was in need of medical attention. He has a little uh, here with the uh, health shelter. Get all these different numbers right here you can call. All right. All right. Homeless support. 
Hot Meals. Which is way better than handing out Happy Meals, also known as drug paraphernalia. That being said, Gotham by the Bay is looking with a critical eye to what's going on in the San Francisco Bay Area. She all right? I don't know, I'm ignore Hey, miss, you all right? She breathing. It's all good. A current system that appears to be broken. The reality of this is just so intense that it made my heart sort of race. It made me feel like unsafe, unnerved, unhappy, afraid, sad, like every every awful adjective you can feel because human beings probably shouldn't be you know kind of existing the way a lot of folks seem to be existing here people are now waking up to see what's going on it's up to you to participate in the change you can't win if you're sitting on a sideline so get in there and fight in san francisco stanley roberts for gotham by the bay